morning and welcome to the What's Up News Network, broadcasting from Panama City Beach, Florida, the home of the world's most beautiful beaches. My name is Jim Free. I'm with Jim Free Realty in Panama City Beach on Thomas Drive. Uh, start off this morning, I'd like to ask you to just look at the bottom of this and see the red subscribe button and if you would please subscribe to our channel. I appreciate that very much. This time of the year, which just a few days ago, June the 1st, we started hurricane season. And we have something that's kind of rare right now. We have a named storm that's entering the Gulf and is likely to make landfall sometime Monday morning around 7 a.m either in Texas or Louisiana. Now because this is going in that direction, those are the models, they can always change. Uh, but it appears that Panama City Beach will be on the east side of the storm, which is always a side that brings us a lot of activity. So we're expecting some heavy rains, thunderstorms out of this system. And the other thing is rip currents. Uh, it was announced this morning that beginning tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and extended to Monday at 11 p.m. we'll have likely rip currents at Panama City Beach. These are extremely dangerous and those of you that are coming down tomorrow, Saturday, and will be here Sunday and Monday, you have to be very careful. There will be likely be red, double red flags out, which means you cannot get in the water. If you get in the water, you would be in extreme danger. So you cannot fight rip currents. So we're hoping that, that all of you will look at the flag system and obey uh, the warnings, and then you'll be able to go home safely. And that's that's what we want you to come down and enjoy the beach but also we want you to be able to go back without having any instance or anybody getting hurt um, this this particular storm is called crystal ball and uh, it's the third name storm which is really unusual our usually our third name storm uh, is comes around August and this one is right here at the very beginning of the hurricane season. Uh, crystal ball has been here before. In fact, if you remember your history in 1492, when he sailed the ocean blue, Christopher Columbus uh, came here. Uh, the name crystal ball, it's kind of interesting that I thought that uh, we call the person Christopher Columbus. He was born in Italy and he was named Christopher Colombo and uh, he spelled his first name with a F-E-R-O at the end. Uh, he moved to Spain and he became Cristoval with a V-A-L at the end of his first name and his last name changed from Colombo to Cologne. Uh, then when he came here to the United States, discovered the United States, we call him Christopher Columbus. So Crystal Ball has been here before. Uh, we, we hope that if it does become a hurricane that it is a minimal hurricane. However, you always have to be careful because the Gulf right now is very warm and that's, that's fuel for storms. So we want to be very careful with this storm. And uh, I always get confused about warnings and watches. I, I don't know which one is the worst, but I've got a system that works. I'm asking you to help me with it. If you're down here, anybody who spots Jim Cantori in town, please let me know. If he comes to town, then that's a signal for me to make sure I get all the balcony furniture in or tied down and take shelter. So watch out for Jim Cantori. Hopefully he won't visit our state this weekend. Don't forget now to subscribe to our channel. Now, just to point out the confusion that I have with watches and warnings a few weeks ago, uh, 
we had a little little storm hit our complex. Uh, it was a water spout, and they they had been broadcasting all evening that we had severe storms in the area. I didn't know where it was a warning or a watch. My wife called me and said, uh, "Hey, you you better get home. You only got ten minutes to get home." Well, I didn't think it was that severe, so I. I took my time and uh, when I got to the parking deck everything was calm but by the time I got to my door uh, I was seeing uh, whole pieces of plywood sailing 20-30 feet above me seeing chairs and and uh, tables coming off the the balconies and landing in the street and fences going down and uh, I was so confused I couldn't remember what my code was to get into my my unit but so help me out and if you see Cantori in town let me know now this morning uh, I want to touch on a couple of other things that uh, may be of concern to you uh, we have had some calls about home equity mortgages this is really called the home equity conversion mortgage. Uh, you have to be 62 years old and have a good bit of equity in your property for you even to be considered. This is a federally insured loan and they will go up to a maximum of $765,600. Uh, considered by most to be kind of a last resort. Uh, this this loan has some pretty expensive penalties on it. it has some pretty expensive fees on it there's a two percent up front that you have to pay and that's that's the mortgage insurance then you have to pay a 0.5 percent annually plus all the fees that your lender is charging you for this type of loan uh, it may work for some people but you should check it out with knowledgeable people in the area lenders uh, accountants especially and make sure it's something that you need and uh, would be beneficial to you uh, if you're if you're unable to make your living expenses and you have equity in your home that might be the best way to go but uh, be cautious about that the uh, I want to caution you about the uh, about the flags again. We're very serious about safety in Panama City Beach, and a lot of our visitors come down and they just forget about safety because it's such a beautiful place, such a fun place to be, and they want to hit the water as soon as they get here, and especially children after they've had a long ride they they're looking forward to getting on the beach and getting in the water. Uh, this morning I noticed we have a single red flag which means there is some danger there but if you see a double red flag don't even get in the water at all. Uh, you not only endanger your life but you endanger those who would be your rescuers and uh, we want everybody to be safe. Don't forget uh, I need you to Hit the subscribe button if you will. It's right down below this screen. Uh, again, my name is Jim Free. I'm with Jim Free Realty. We uh, will be glad to provide you with uh, market analysis of any property that's uh, listed or any property that you're considering buying or if you're a seller or if you're just a property owner. Any any property that you would like a market analysis on we'll be glad to do that and send it to you free also if uh, you would like any of the uh, documents that we quote from during the broadcast if you would like the full copy sent to you we'll be glad to do that uh, this uh, this is just a service we'd like to provide for you and most importantly if you have questions about market or anything about any of the restrictions or non-restrictions on the beach uh, please let us know and then I, I can answer you by email I may mention the same subject the next time we report uh, but without 
without calling out your name but most of the time when we get a request it's not only that person that has an interest in it but uh, other people will have the same interest in the same question so we would like to get the information out to as many people as we can thank you for watching uh, thank you for subscribing to our channel and if we can be any help to you just give us a call my email is jimfreerealty at me.com that's jimfreerealty at me.com thank you so much for watching and have a great weekend